Shalom. This is Nathaniel from the Holland Camp. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Bahashem, Bakakwadesh, Tabalan City Apostles, the editors of Great Millstone, that teach and rule well, among many other things, and peace of citation to the elect that are scattered abroad, four winds and earth out there in the highways and hedges, and pushing truth and sincerity. Shalom. All right. So I got this article here. And it reads United States use Ukraine to eliminate competitor. EU, Russia, and China, sm uh, smiling third parties. Now, I'm going to also play a video after this as well, which I'm going to cut and uh, add on to the end of this video. And um, so I'm going to read this article and I'm going to pull scriptures that come to mind concerning what's going on right now. Okay, because this is a very serious thing. This is one of the prophecies that is going to happen. All right, um, where uh, the EU, uh, Europe is going to turn pretty much turn it back on to America and attack America for what they're doing, and this is a sign right here that is is happening. Okay, it says here the European suicide specular sp spectacular summer show is nothing but up um, a stench. Estentious self flagellation at the uh, behest of Grand Master. Always the plan of the American elite to sacrifice Europe at war with Russia. The rest of the world is watching the suicide spectacular summer show with growing bewilderment as Europe's irrational yet Overconfident and arrogant leaders are executing their anti-Russia hate agenda, which is, in reality, only the packing for the left, green, liberal society, um, society undermining climate agenda, which puts an end to both the security and affordability of energy, of our energy, fuel and few uh, food supplies, by refusing Russia natural gas, the German economy, and with it that the EU is on its last legs. And that's true. Okay. And that's very true. Uh, you know, society that we are living in, it is crumbling and it is crumbling at a very fast rate. Right now, there's a very heavy illusion of things are going back to normal and things getting better. But it's continuing to get worse and worse. Yes, summertime is around. The sun is shining. Nice weather out there. You can still go out there sh uh, shopping, buying your food at the grocery. You can go out, shake your ass at a club or whatnot. But soon all that shit is about to be shut down, man. You know, this upcoming fall or in wintertime, things are going to take a t drastic turn. And, um, you know, the scriptures say... Um, what was it? Let me grab it really quick. This is uh, Matthew's 24. Let me see where it is. Hmm. It was well onto them. Uh, right, a little too far. Right, this is Matthew chapter 24, verse 20. But I pray ye that your flight be not in the winter. In the winter. Let me read it again. But, but I pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. Okay, and when times is going to get really tough, you know, people are going to be losing their homes. People are going to be losing their jobs, which is ultimately going to lose their homes or whatnot. However the situation may be, there's going to be utter chaos and uh, destruction happening upon this earth, man, throughout your neighborhoods, okay, you know, lack of food, you know, all hell is about to actually break loose, man, and um, it's not going to get any better, all right, so just imagine if when 
these things are to occur concerning the energy uh, that we need to keep warm at night in the winter time when that's not working you know people are going to be in a very dire what was it? let me just say it like uh let me say it this way people are going to be in some very very heavy times okay people are going to mourn suffer okay and they don't realize how serious the situation is man okay so it says here and with it that the eu is on its last legs few realize that the collapse of the eu is one of the main u.s objectives of provoking the war in ukraine demented paranoia analyst pepe escobar calls the insane self-defeating behavior of eu leaders especially those of germany but are our politicians really all as stupid as they pretend to be with their step-by-step -step destruction of all our food and energy securities? And that's what's happening right now. The, the, the destruction of our food and securities is happening right now. That's why you have the farmers right now um, protesting, blocking up airline uh, streets to, to go to the airport. You know, the fire department is also... Um, you know, uh, um, going on strike with them. And it's not only here in the Netherlands, but also in throughout Europe, throughout Amer uh, uh, Canada, okay, and other places as well. And it's continuing to grow much higher. And now with this situation with uh, the, the scene, let me just say, uh, the Windows 19, right the windows 19 situation with this new um new thing that they have which is called a ninja okay things are going to get a lot worse you know and the prices of food and they also want to take what 50 percent of the cattle low because they're talking about the nitrous levels is too high you know, and you, the, also because of uh, the, the, the um, global warming, you know, which is a bunch of bullshit. We've been having the most coldest winters. The, the spring was cold as shit. Pretty much winter, you know, fucking started snowing in the spring again over here in the Netherlands. So this global warming is bullshit. What they're doing is they're playing with the weather, all right, with these chemtrails and shit like that, making artificial clouds. Okay, they're playing around, man. Okay, but there's a whole agenda behind this. Okay, and it, and and it goes into prophecy, man. The Lord said that these things were going to happen, man. You know, uprising the people. Okay. So it says here. Few realize that the collapse of the EU is one of the main U.S. objectives to, of provoking the war in Ukraine. And but, you know, a few. A few few let's say a lot of people don't realize what's actually happening right now and when they hear these things they pretty much they want to be like hey get this shit out of here i don't want to hear about these things but when it actually happens then they're going to worry then they're going to be like what do we do what do we do what are we going to do right but it's too late for your ass you know because hey the the voice of the lord is out there throughout the four corners of earth man speaking his words all right and you want to be hard-headed, stiff-necked? Well, there's, there's consequences for that, man. All right? Demented paranoia, analyst Pepe Escobar calls the insane self-defeating behavior of EU leaders, especially those of Germany. But are politicians really all as stupid as they pretend to be with their step-by-step -step destruction of all our food and energy securities? You know? Or is and, and the thing is also with what 18 months probably 19 months now over a hundred food manufacturing companies have been burnt to the ground in america isn't that a coincidence right this is what the elites are actually doing they are going to cause a global famine okay they're going to cause a global famine and that's what they're doing right now they're destroying the farmlands Okay, you know, if you look in America, <laughs> um, you know, also uh, the fact that they're shutting down farmers, 
throughout the different countries in this world. All right. A lot of things are going to happen here very soon. And you're going to see the prices of food and everything going up dramatically. Okay, within days. You know, people were concerned and afraid and pissed off concerning gas prices. And some of the food, yeah, of course, is going up. But that ain't nothing compared to what's actually about to happen. And when that happens, okay, when the gas prices go skyrocketing, do you think the police officers are going to be there to help you? There's going to be too much shit going on that, hey, martial law is going to be declared, military out there in the streets. It's going to be civil war, people robbing and looting. All right? There's a lot of things that people don't consider at all, man. And we've been warning y'all, man. We've been telling you for a, you know, for some time now. But, you know, all that is about to end here very soon. You know, we're not going to be out here speaking anymore. And you might, you may have your victory, your laughter or whatnot. But that's only for your own destruction, you know. When, when the men of the Lord stop speaking His words, the, the Heavenly Father's words, you should actually be very afraid. Because that is a prophecy that is written in the Bible. That there shall be a famine of the word in uh, Amos 8 and 11. Then you're going to look to and fro. Then, then when the, That's when you should be afraid because that's when the judgment's actually going to come in as a flood, man. Okay? It's going to come in as a flood. It's going to come in as a storm. Okay? You know, there's always a, there's a saying in the world, there's always a calm. Uh, what is it? Uh, the calm before the storm. Okay? And that storm is coming. All right. And that's when you're going to be looking for the, the, the men of the Lord to hear the words of the Heavenly Father. But hey, you know, the Heavenly Father's going to mock when your fear cometh, man. Okay. So it says here um, Or is an agenda being deliberately carried out that even includes the great reset of the WEF and Agenda 21? of the UN are only on the surface? Russia and China devour US, EU, NATO empire. I'm not gonna read some of these titles, and, you know, cause you could read, you can look it up, it's very simple. Okay, you can read it for yourself. Uh, let's see, the sh showdown in which EU is weakened and split. And that goes into also uh, the um, the ten toes and in Daniel's, you know, because you have weaker nations within the EU, okay, and you have the other nations, uh, other countries that are stronger than the others, okay. They're divided against each other, all right. And the thing is, is that it's kind of it's kind of funny because you know within their own nation, these so-called white people, you know they they should be actually helping their brothers out, man. You know their their country should be united and strong as one, but they ain't about that. You see, we're ruled by children, man. A bunch of degenerate pieces of shits, man, bastards, and that's why. <laughs> It's a very beautiful thing to see, man. All right. It's a very beautiful thing to see that this society is actually falling apart and one's going to be done away with forever, man. And that's what we're waiting for. You know, we actually want righteousness to rule upon this earth once and for all. We, we, we want this uh, wickedness to be over with very soon, man. All right. Now, as it says here, after the recent summit between the foreign minister of China and the U.S. and Bali, Balai, however you pronounce it, the Chinese state newspaper did, did too fully, strange words, spoke of constructive meeting, but had to admit that both countries are heading, heading for a showdown, a confrontation. Such a showdown is exactly what America and time Fanatics like Mike Pompeo are heading for, while the globalist group pulling the strings of the senile leader of the free world in the White House is actively carrying out an 
uh, slot key. An already much older hidden agenda, namely crushing the European Union. All right. And that's a very beautiful thing, man, because it goes perfectly lined up with the prophecy that's written in Revelation, which I'm also going to read. Uh, the rulers in Washington are behind the dis discussed earlier on this, this site plan for an alliance between Great Britain, Poland, Ukraine, and three ba uh, Baltic states. This alliance will become separate from NATO EU and is uh, supposedly intended to strengthen defense against Russia. Right. Which is really being done is trying to split an ever weakening EU into many unions, which of it's like a union it each of which will be so vulnerable that it will make them much easier to manage and manipulate. Whether the anti democratic Brussels bureaucrats who the average European citizen would rather see disappear today than tomorrow anyway is a is aware of this given their immensely arrogant and painful detachments from the interests of the common people the question is the question is yeah this is revelation no we're gonna go to daniels let me see if it's uh daniels no 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 what's it This is Daniel chapter 2, verse 41. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of potter's clay and part of iron. Because you got to understand, this is this is the, let me see, um, Nebuchadnezzar, uh, the king of Babylon. Uh, let me see. Uh, all right. So Nebuchadnezzar, he had a dream, and Daniel was breaking it down. You know, and that's why um we have a we have a poster of a statue. You know, the the golden head. You know, going on down with all the different kingdoms. Now we're at the the bottom of the feet which is the end of, you know, the, the rulerships of these uh, heathens, because they, they had their part of time, right? And we're at the feet, right? And as it says here in uh, Daniel chapter 2, verse 41, And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of Yeah, I think kind of messed up. But right here it says, uh, Daniel chapter 2, verse 41. So we at the, we're at the end. You know, which uh, the Ten Toes is talking about NATO. All right. So it says here in Daniel 2 and uh, 41, and it reads, And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of potter's clay and part of iron. So part of the, the, the EU, the NATO, is uh, is weak and other parts of it is uh, strong. That's what it's talking about clay, because clay is not a very strong thing, though it be hard. Uh, clay, it can break very easy compared to iron, okay? The kingdom shall be divided, but there shall be in it of the strength of iron, for so much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay. And as the toes of the feet were part of, of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. And it's, and it's getting worse and worse. Okay, the, the worser, but the the fact is that they're splitting up more and more, and and you have different parts that are really weak, man. All right. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with the miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay, because it's two different uh, elements. Okay, you can't you can't mix them. All right, so. 
if you put something together with clay and iron, do you think that, you know, um, it's going to actually hold together? And it's going to be no. Okay. It's going to be no. And that's what's going on right now. It's been happening, but now, you know, because of the fact that, uh, as it talks about in uh, Matthews, that if uh, Satan is divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? And that's where we're at right now. You know, the fall of his, his kingdom is coming, man. And it's coming real fast. All right, we see it happening right now before your eyes. Um, it says right here, what is really being done is trying to split an ever weakening EU into many unions, each of which will be so vulnerable that it will make them much easier to manage and manipulate. You see, whether at the anti-democratic -demo Brussels bureaucrats who the average European, European citizen would rather see disappear today than tomorrow anyway, is aware of this given their immensely arrogant and painful detachment from the in interest of the common people. The question is, and that's what's happening, they're doing things that is for their own benefit. But at the same time, the, the common people are suffering and it's, it's going to get worse and worse for them, right? Uh, this title says Anglo-American Empire wants to keep power at all costs. And that's actually true. Uh, this title right here says always been the plan of America elite to sacrifice Europe in the war with Russia. Which is very interesting. You know, you can read it, pause it, read it. Another title it says right here and Europe will be sacrificed in the coming war with Russia. Which is not a title, but yeah. Now, this is right here. This is order out of chaos. And this is actually what they're bringing. Because out of the chaos, they're going to bring the new world order. They're going to come in as there were some, like some heroes. Like they're here to help you. And that is where it also comes into, um, they will have nothing, but they will be happy. Because the people are going to be put in a so low estate that they're going to be happy with whatever they're going to be given. And that's what they want. Which ultimately they're going to truly break the people to where they're going to implement the MOTB. Okay. And people are going to be willing to take it. That's what they're going to do. So it says here, current events in Ukraine and European will probably have convinced many of you of the reality of this monstrous Atlantic conspiracy, which should pave the way of an, an intervention by a world power via the deliberately collapse and possibly partly destroy destroyed West, possibly under the UN flag. Ostensibly to restore order, order of KO, order of out of chaos. The new world order will arise as a result, however, will bring anything but the liberation now so hoped by many. On the contrary, it is th it threatens to create by far the har harshest and most inhumane dictatorship ever possible. Only a large scale awareness a rising process which goes much further than just waking up could possibly still frustrate this diab diabolical plan. All right. So this is uh, Joel 3 and 9 and it reads, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, Wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Right? Because that's where we're in. We're in a time of war. They're setting up everything for war, gearing up everything for war. And as you can see that it is anything but going to be peaceful. All right? War is in the air. Death is in the air. Famine. <laughs> Destruction. All right? 
whether you want to hear it or not. Okay? Because this is what's going on. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. And these items, okay, the plowshares and the pruning hooks is for agriculture. And instead of putting it into the agriculture, they're putting it into the sword and the spears, which is military might. All right? Let the weak say, I am strong, because you have these other smaller countries now standing up to America and different parts of uh, different uh, countries as well. All right. And that's something that you should be really aware of, because now, instead of being an actual conventional war again, it's going to be fought out with the conventional weapons, but ultimately it's going to be fought by nuclear missiles. Okay. Because this is what it says in Isaiah. I think it's Isaiah 9 and 5. It says Isaiah 9 and 5. And it reads, For every battle of a warrior is with confused noise. Because in battle, you know, before you heard, you know, the swords, you know, and people yelling. But then as you grow, uh, as uh, the society got more advanced, you had bombs, you know, uh, machine guns, pistols, shotguns, uh, missile launchers, you know, people getting blown up. So, uh, as it says here, for every battle of a warrior is with confused noise, you see. So, a lot of things is going on in the time of war, all right? And garments rolled in blood because people were getting chopped to pieces, man, okay? <laughs> Literally. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire, okay? So, this war is going to be fought by what? By nuclear missiles, because I believe, and it's Isaiah. Let me see if I can find it again. Uh, 56. Uh, no. Let me see. It's been a while since I grabbed this one. Uh. Let me see if I got it. Sheesh. Uh. Wow. Let me see if it's, uh... We got fifty four. Yeah, come on. This is Isaiah fifty four and sixteen. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. And a modern day smith is talking about these scientists because they're the ones who are creating the weapons now. Because the smith, that's what he does. He builds armor, he builds uh swords, axes, and so on. Okay, but now the modern day um smith uh, these scientists, right? And that bring forth an instrument for his work. And that instrument that he's bringing forth with his work are these ICBM missiles, right? And I have created the waster to destroy. Okay? And that w is what is being done. You see these other smaller countries now with nuclear capabilities as well. North Korea, Pakistan, India. They all have nuclear weapons, Right? But they want to run into Iraq and Afghanistan because they have weapons of mass destruction. You know, so, yeah, fucking devils, man. But anyways, that's that's how they are, man. They go in, in every man's land. All right. Um, all right. Um, what was I going to grab? I was going to grab one more scripture. Uh, yeah. That's what I wanted. I think it was uh, 16. No, no, no. It's 11 and 16. 16, let's see. Right. Oh, well, I'm just read this real, real quick. This is Revelation chapter 11, verse 14. The second one was passed, which was a uh, second world war. And behold, the third one, the third woe cometh quickly, right? So that third world war is, is going to happen here.
very soon. All right. Um, now going to that scripture, I think it was 16. Let me see if it's 16 or 11. Uh, no. No. Let me see. This is Revelation chapter 17, verse 15. And it has, uh, let me see. And he, sa and he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the, where the horse sitteth, are people, and multitudes, and nations, and tongues. Right? Which is America. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, which shall hate the whore and shall make her f and, and, the, and the beast is talking about EU NATO okay and that whore is talking about America alright and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire so there's going to come a time where Europe is going to destroy and help destroy America man because of the shit that they're doing. Because as it says here in Obadiah. Let me see if I have Obadiah. Oh, Obadiah is over here. No. Let's back over here. There's Obadiah. Uh, one and seven. And it reads, all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. All right, because, you know, America, what they're doing is bring it. Hey, when it's talking about brought thee even to the border, it's talking about a time of war, man. Right. And the men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. And prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Because America, all right, have been going around doing what the hell they want to do. And the pride of Esau has deceived them. They're actually thinking that their whole plan is going to work out just fine, man. But it's all going to backfire, man. Okay. And he's going to, in his own blessing... Right, because this is what it says here in Revelation 3 and 6. And it, no, it was a 4 and 6. It says right here. Uh, wait, it was 3, I think. No, 6 and 4. Right, this is Revelation chapter 6, verse 3. And it reads, And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second uh, beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and the power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword, and that great sword, which is their going, which is the ICBM missiles, all right, was one of their most destructive weapons they have upon this earth. It's gonna be, it's gonna because Esau, Edom, these so-called white people, their blessing was given was a sword that was given on to them and they live by it even on to this day they live by the sword and their their uh, blessing is what's going to destroy him and bring him down man you know which is a very beautiful thing all right so you know this is pretty much it i'm going to download the, the other video and uh put it together you know, Yahweh desire was edifying with that. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, or Kakutash, double honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that teach and rule well, among many other things, and peace of citations to the elect that are scattered abroad in four winds. Shalom. Yo, you'll never hear this from the media. It is amazing to look and, and to see that Russia dominates the air. They haven't knocked out the train systems. They haven't knocked out power plants. They haven't knocked out uh, so many things. They've never bombed uh, the, the buildings in the center of Kiev. They 
you know, the the capital of uh, of Ukraine. They haven't bombed the the buildings where the parliament meets. Uh, they, they've been incredibly reserved about these things, hoping against hope that peace could be achieved. But I don't think I don't think Ukraine has anything to do with the decision about peace or war. I think the decision about peace or war is made in Washington, D.C. Uh, as long as we want the war to continue, we will fight that war using Ukrainians as proxies and we will fight it to the last Ukrainian death.